Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching, if you chose video on my channel and help support the awesome bands I feature, and today I'm here with Violent Idols. How you doing today? Good. How are you doing, Michael? Good. Good. It's great to have you. Thank you. Yeah. No. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This is cool. Definitely. And I want to start off by saying, for just starting out pretty recently, it seems like you've gotten recognized really well. And how's that been possible? Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been a couple uh, a couple things that have been really helpful to us. Um, one of them is we did the theme song for a wrestler named John Moxley, um, who's uh, on all, all Elite Wrestling. So if you've ever seen AEW Dynamite on TNT every Wednesday, um, he, he's walking out to our song. So that was actually one of the songs we were able to put out first and um, it's kind of immersed us in the wrestling world. Um, but aside from that, we've also done some songs um, with some with some different guests and special guests, and that kind of helps us reach new people too. So we we did a song with Aaron Nordstrom of Gemini Syndrome, and we did a song um, with Andy James, who's now the guitar player in Five Finger Death Punch, um, as well as an awesome Japanese guitar player named Kaz, who's in a who's in a legendary band from Japan called Vamps. So oh. um, you know, working with people like that has really helped expose us to. Um, you know, a, a, a big crowd pretty, pr pretty quickly. Awesome. And do you plan to keep doing these collaborations as you continue? Yeah, I think it's part of, um, I think it's part of our thing. You know, I, so far the way I've been approaching it is trying to put out maybe one original song, you know, one or two original songs and then maybe a cover and then maybe one with a, with a guest um, and stuff. And I, I find it's just a really fun, it's a really awesome way to collaborate with uh, people we know and, and people that are friends of ours and um, especially this project it's kind of um, you know even for for a guest it's a little more outside their box and a little a little more left of center so it kind of gives us all a chance to do some cool shit without worrying about if it fits on the radio or if it's too aggressive or if it's too violent or whatever so uh, it, it's pretty liberating and your uh, recent single, Revenge, is awesome. You want to tell us a little about that? Thank you. Yeah, no, I, I love Revenge. I think it's one of my favorite songs we put out so far. Um, I think it's a good indicator of where we're trying to go with the sound. You know, we're trying to make it heavy and modern um, at w while being kind of slick and, and over, over the top production, let's say. I don't think we're, you know, we're not, we're not really like a raw garage garage band in a certain sense i think we're something a little more larger than life and um you know that's part of the look and um everything that's part of our identity so um yeah no revenge is um it's it's kind of the beginning of the second wave of material that we've put out we we put out one ep so far and that's kind of the first wave that was idolatry and revenge is the beginning of the second i think revenge is a song that um i love because it really explores the you know it makes us ask the question, what, what would we do if someone fucked with us or our family? You know, and I think that's a big part of Violent Idols is um, r r really being able, you know, it's, it's people always think of violence as like a, a ba bad thing or something only a bad guy does. But I think when you're under threat, when you're under attack, when you're being bullied, um, eventually sometimes the only way you can get out of it is by you know, exacting some of your own uh, revenge and violence yourself. So, you know, th those are those are things we don't like to think about. We don't like to we don't like to wonder how, uh, you know, how extreme or how de how defensive we can get. But at the same time, you know, if put in, if put into position, you know, wh what's your limit? What would you what, what would you do? Yeah, yeah, well said. And uh, your look there is that your uh, regular permanent look, or do you switch it up a little bit? Or? You know, I'm always making little changes. Um, it's it, it's fun to experiment with, um, as well as I like to keep it interesting. So I, I, when I started, I think I had just the mask and, and some face paint. Um, and uh, I think I was wearing red flannel and stuff at the time. You know, I've added some other uh, other things to my wardrobe. And now I actually have a, 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 a fabric mask underneath the top mask and stuff. And um, I like it. It m m makes it easier to get ready. I don't. Have to, I don't paint my whole face. I just got to paint the parts that you see. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's cool. It's like it's the, it's the kind of thing that like it, it takes me to a different place. It takes the I think the listener to a different place. And a big part of this project was sort of removing the identity of people from it and making it more about a thing and more about um, 
you know, just 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 more about a vision and 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 whatnot. So in that sense, it's a little, you know, it's a page out of, out of the book from the wrestling world and uh, comic books and things like that. And I think um, I, I think it allows people to forget that they're watching people and they're they're, they're actually watching uh, an ideal. Cool. And uh, when can we expect the uh, second EP to come out? Yeah. So the so the first EP, we kind of just put out one song every. Um, every six to eight weeks until we until we had enough for the EP or I had all the songs for the EP to put out. I think we're going to do the same thing this time. Um, it's really fun dropping one song at a time and giving everything kind of the focus and attention it deserves. Um, and the, these days, you know, everyone's so ADD and preoccupied with a billion things that um, I think it's better to give them one thing to focus on rather than giving, giving them everything all at once. So. You know, so Revenge is, is, is the beginning of leading up to whatever the second EP is. Um, I'm not even sure, honestly, at this point, if it's going to be an EP or if it's going to be an album um, or if maybe we'll take some of the songs from the first EP and combine it. Who knows? At this point, we're just trying to make cool music and keep it flowing. So, um, you, know, I, 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 you know, I think our fans are patient and they've kind of caught on to the fact that we, uh, we, we don't like to give everything away all at once. We like to kind of keep teasing people and give them a, a, you know, one puzzle piece at a time. So, so it, 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 you know, this phase two could take us the next six to nine months to lead up to, it could take us three or four, but I don't, you know, I don't know. It's whenever it feels right. I don't have, I don't have any rules right now in my head. I don't like to have rules for this project that I like to just feel it out. I don't know if there's gonna be five songs in EP or seven, you know, it just, whatever, uh, whatever feels right. I feel like we'll, we'll, we'll know it when we get there. That's a good way to do it. Just see how it goes, how it comes. Yeah, I mean, there's there's so many um, there's so many bands these days that are that are that have a lot of rules. They have a lot of limitations, whether it's by a label or management or whatever. And I think um, part of the keeping this project exciting and interesting to me is making sure uh, that I have no master and that I can kind of just feel it feel feel it out, do what I want, take chances, take risks. I don't have to answer to nobody except for the fans. And uh, thankfully so far they've, they've enjoyed the ride with us and have been super supportive of uh, everything we've put out so far. Yeah, I can see you're taking risks with the uh, song Fuck You, just that title. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, no, it says, uh, I think, it, I can't remember what the exact count is, but I think it says Fuck, fuck You almost 60 times. And uh, that, that's probably not counting all the layers of background vocals that say fuck you as well. So I'm sure if you really had to count, there's probably at least like, a, you know, 150 tracks that say fuck in that song. <laughs> Which, uh, for the record, I believe we beat uh, Limp Bizkit uh, with, with Hot Dog. You know, oh, fuck, they have one song called, they have one song. They have one song that says fuck, I think, like 56 times or something, and maybe we're like 58 or 60. So, uh, when I, you know. Yeah, when I was listening to the song, I actually was thinking about that song. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't even think about that at the time, even though I am a uh, Limp Bizkit fan and grew up a Limp Bizkit fan. But um, so a friend of mine pointed that out, and I was like, oh, cool. So, then, you know, then we went through and we counted it. We're like, yeah, yeah, we, we, we beat them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. And uh, now that live music is starting to return, do you have any plans for our tour and getting out and playing live? You know, we, we don't have any, um, any, any immediate plans yet. I think we're still kind of w waiting for thing, things to shake themselves out and see what comes up. At the same time, um, I think this pandemic era, let's call it, uh, has showed us um, – some other cool alternatives that have been done, whether it's uh, been the different kinds of live streams that bands have done, um, the different kinds of online things that um, have, you know, that bands have proved you can do. So I, I think our first focus is, is really doing, we want everything we, to do to be really, really cool and really special. And I don't think we want to just get out and, you know, play for 50 people or 100 people or, or you know, however many. I think we want to do some, some you know, things that feel like extravaganzas to us. So whether it's, performing at a live wrestling pay-per-view or whether it's appearing um on a, on a really cool big production live stream i think if we're going to do something we want to really make it count and we want it to be special so we we haven't actually played a show live yet as my idols so it's been you know we, we really kind of kick-started things a few months before the pandemic so 
um, it's, it's, it's been an interesting time, but I can tell you right now that we, uh, I just finished tonight, um, rehearsing with the band Gemini syndrome, um, for an upcoming live stream that they're doing and it's going to be really cool. And that's actually going to be the first, uh, official appearance that I've made yet will be on uh, Gemini syndrome live stream. So go, go follow them and they'll be announcing some, uh, some details soon. And, uh, uh, you'll get to see, uh, see me performing with those guys. Awesome. That's exciting. Yeah, it's super fun. I mean, uh, I was in the rehearsal space with them, and those guys are just so talented. And uh, and I think what they're putting together is going to be really special. And uh, it, it, it's it's a blast performing with with Aaron Nordstrom. He he's the one that was on our song "Fuck You," and uh, he's just a really ta talented cat. Yeah, I like them a lot too. Mm -hmm. Now, if people want to find you online, get your music on social media, how do they do that? Yeah, no, we're, we are uh, everywhere, at least I can think of. <laughs> so uh, look up Violent Idols on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. We, uh, we, we are the only Violent Idols. So uh, go to Instagram.com slash Violent Idols, Twitter.com slash Violent Idols. Go to Violent Idols .com. We are, uh, we're, we're on Evil Spaces, and, uh, and, and you'll know us when you see us because you'll see the red and the black and the mask, and uh, you'll know you're in the right spot. Yeah, I like the whole red look you got in the video there. Yeah, it's part. You know, it's it's part of it. It's not just uh, not just the look. It's the it's the colors. It's the it's the things that that tell you you're in a, you're in a different world. You're in a, you're in a different place than your normal reality. Awesome. Well, I look forward to what you have coming up in the future, and it was great talking with you. And everybody, look that up. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you for having us on. This is this is actually our, I think our second video interview we've done so uh it's cool to be here and uh thank you for supporting our band definitely yeah it was great having you and i like your music a lot and for everyone uh, watching i've linked their music in the video description so go check it out